Um, so I'm pretty sure you have, um, like, you have spotted or heard of how South Korean love. It. I mean, the the relationship, how how the relationship goes, like, for for South Korean couple. Have you have you heard of that kind of yes, thing? Or well, are you talking about like? I guess it's called you call it the dating culture. Yeah, dating culture. Yes, dating culture in South Korea. Then. Yeah, I've noticed some differences. Yeah, I've noticed some differences. Like, for example, maybe uh, one thing that stands out. I think that any Westerner that comes to Korea, it's quite unusual. Is that a lot of the couples will wear the same clothes as each other, which you can never <laughs> see in Western culture. Yeah, they look yeah, at you yeah, like, whoa, yeah. oh, well, why, yeah. why is this man wearing the same clothes as his girlfriend? So that's uh, quite an interesting part of the dating culture i guess i don't know where that comes from just showing love for each other yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but would you would you wear the, like the same clothing <laughs> no not the way i grew up in irish culture you just would not do that yeah okay yeah. i think okay. most western cultures you would not do that okay at all okay yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm not sure if uh, you'd see that much even across asia i don't know I have not seen it in Hong mm -hmm. Kong too much, but mm -hmm. in Korea I see it quite a lot. That's one aspect of the dating culture that mm -hmm. is definitely stand out. Yeah. And like um, people in South Korea, I mean these days especially, use like a dating app. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think of it? And how how does your country do with it? Well, I. I think dating apps are are global these days, right? Everyone uses the dating apps to meet people. Um, I guess whatever works for people. I think the best way to meet someone though is probably meet them face to face, so you can get to know them. True. Yeah, yeah, see them yeah. on an app. Yeah. I've heard stories from friends about meeting girls where they, where they look nothing like their picture when they actually meet them in a bar or a cafe. So I guess that could get a little bit awkward. Right. 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 Uh, right. I'm not sure you ever use a, a dating app, and yeah, I have used it once before. Yeah, yeah, just once, so not too <laughs> successfully. Yeah. I mean, I can talk about it like, um, yeah. I mean, when um, when we have a personal, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, personal time. Yeah, no, for for now, I mean, I want to focus on like you, sure. but okay. Um, yeah, I imagine a, a dating app is probably like very hit or miss. If a guy is trying to meet a girl, or a girl is trying to meet a guy, I would just imagine that you know you could go on, you could find a girl that looks amazing because she's spent time, you know, putting up the perfect photos of her, yeah, and then making yeah. a perfect personality online. So if it was me, I wouldn't really trust online dating. Okay. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure yeah. lots of couples have met over online and been successful with a long-term relationship. So I mean, how how about people in in your country? Yeah, in my country, the the exact same. You know, it's it's quite popular. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. popular in Ireland, and I actually have a, a good friend of mine that met his girlfriend, and they've been together for uh, I think it's almost a year now. So oh wow, uh, and I'm pretty happy for him. And it's worked <laughs> for him. So uh, okay, that's okay. someone close to me that it's worked for, and I know one or two other people that they're in similar relationships. And yeah, so for every bad bad horror story that I've heard, I've heard really good stories as well about it. Mm -hmm. So I guess it, it comes down to personal preference. True. At the end of the day, how you yeah. want to meet people. Yeah. You yeah. might have a, a person that's too shy to go and, and talk to a, to a person that they like of the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. And they feel a bit more comfortable when they can get to know a person on the phone or online. And then... Then at least they have a little base of knowledge to speak to that person True. when they go to meet them. Yeah. yeah. But you don't prefer that? I wouldn't personally prefer it, yeah. 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 Uh, I've, I don't have first-hand experience of it. So I, just from looking in on the outside, I, I don't see the, the reason to do it. If I was trying to speak to a girl, I'd rather just approach her and speak to her. Yeah. And I think it's it's just more natural way of, of meeting someone that you end up liking. Because 
you're not really getting that uh, that attraction, that first impression. You know, when you you see someone, you think oh, I really like that person. You're not getting that so much from online because of the fact that you can these days you can Photoshop photos and you can oh yeah mess with yeah. the lighting and yeah. all that sort of stuff, right? So yeah. you might look at a person's picture and think they look great. And, yeah. Anyway, yeah. okay, so um, people in Ireland use dating app quite often yeah. and and and